As a CISSP coach, I keep interacting with so many students. Sometimes back, a student reached out to me and she was extremely heartbroken and dejected because she failed her first CISSP attempt. When I asked her about the snip of the result, I found she was failing in almost all CISSP domains. I asked her what efforts she had put in to prepare for CISSP and what she told me made me feel so sorry about her. She had been preparing for the last 8 months with a consistent and focused approach. She took two boot camps uh, trainings and have gone through two times through the CBK. Moreover, she had practiced over 3000 CISSP questions available across the internet. Now you might ask me Manoj, does that mean we should not do CISSP certification? Not at all. You must do CISSP certification. So those who are meeting me first time, my name is Manoj Sharma and I am a CISSP specialist, a coach and a Udemy instructor. I have helped thousands of students to get CISSP certified. In this video, I am going to provide you with five fundamental reasons why people fail CISSP so that you can avoid these mistakes during your CISSP certification journey. C. Earning a CISSP designation is a big achievement and it really helps in your cybersecurity career. Uh, maybe you are uh, trying to climb up the corporate ladder or you might be looking for a transition into cybersecurity. Let's try to understand what are the major reasons why people fail CI. So the number one reason is lack of the right mindset. Many people who prepare for CISSP are coming from a technical background. It's not that only technical people are doing it. There are other people as well who are from the non-technical side of it. And we need to understand that CISSP actually is a mix of both. You not only think from a concept perspective, you need to also apply your cognitive thinking because whatever experience you have might be you get little different in the exam. So CISSP certification make you ready to be placed as a cyber security leader and that's why ISC2 want you to get ready for this challenging role. Since at work you might be taking critical security decisions day to day and that is why the questions being asked are from the same perspective. The questions test you on your ability to apply uh, security sense and common sense both while taking the security decision. Now this will not be possible if you are not able to relate security concept with the practical world scenarios and this leads me to the next important point. The reason number two is trying to memorize everything. We have all been coming from the academic studies background and that's why when few of us start preparing for CISSP, we, uh, we generally take up the academic approach. We try to understand and we try to memorize each and everything and in that process, we lose out on an important link to relate the CISSP concept with the practical world scenarios. Believe me, this is a big challenge. I bet you each and everything which comes in CISSP is very, very much relatable. And if you are not able to relate it, that means CISSP certification is help you, helping you nothing. Thanks to ISC2 for making this amazing certification, right? So the bottom line here is CISSP is not a memorization exam. It's a security management certification and you need to apply security sense and common sense while answering the CISSP. That's the reason everybody who passed the CISSP exam has a different taste. You will hear it from so many people, right? So based on their past experience and level of applying their concept, everybody has a different taste and they apply these concepts differently. Now, before we go to the next point, I want to let you know about an amazing program called a CISSP Success Tool. The program is for all those people like you who might be struggling with your CISSP preparation. The program comes with one-to-one -one mentorship, 100 hours of CISSP classes along with 60 hours of live exam practice. Can you believe it? 60 plus hours of live exam practice to make sure that when you go to the real CISSP exam, you feel like, oh man, it's nothing. It's like something I do day in and day out. So that's the intent there. Most importantly, this program is very different from the bootcamp style trainings which are available across the industry, which actually barely helps you to pass the CISSP certificate. 
we have a great success rate and i myself has helped thousands of people getting caesp certificate let's now move on to the third point not practicing enough questions many people has the intent to just go through books and then simply go for the exam believe me uh, they falter though few of them are able to clear based on their previous experience and uh, but at the same time many of such people fail ciessp exam the root cause is very simple most of the ciessp books uh, which are available are generally flat in nature which means they just explain you the concept but they do not talk about the problem statements and the various scenarios but when you go to the real ciessp exam it's most often a bumpy ride and the exam test you on the problem statements and the options are very very close practicing enough questions is very very important before you appear for the ciessp exam ciessp questions often come uh, with uh, some kind of filtration keywords as well now you might be thinking what are these filtration keyword so let me tell you these keywords are like primary first least best and most you need to understand these keywords which require you to apply your cognitive thinking if you have not practiced such questions before you might not be ready for the exam the ISSP exam also uses few alternate terms to represent something which you have not read before in the books and if you are not knowing those alternate terms you might also slip off understanding the questions well this actually leads to the root cause that people are not able to understand the ask better that means the question better and exactly this is our next reason why people fail ciss that is not practicing how to comprehend ciss questions right most of those who fails in more than two domains generally have this issue they are not comprehending the questions well the bottom line is you must practice to comprehend the ciss questions well believe me even native english students also face the same issue one best way to resolve this issue is once you read the question and you look at the options ask yourself what is the question trying to ask what concept are they trying to ask you on right the last one and very very important point here is uh, anxiety and time management during the exam unfortunately i have seen such cases where the student is very confident during the training and during the entire coaching and you may have full confidence on the student as well but either he or she get nervous in the exam and not able to manage their time effectively so here are some tips from my side uh, the first tip to prevent anxiety during the exam and having a good time management is you should reach the exam center on time so that you are mentally at peace when you start taking the exam the second point is you should practice every question or to to answer every question within 75 seconds and this will help you uh, to always remain on time and for this what you need to do you need to take some quality mock test and try to simulate the same environment at home before you go for the exam one great way for this is to grab my uh, course which is on five mock test series course and the link is available in the video description many many student actually has referred to that mock test and if you are scoring like 70% in that mock test you can feel confident before going for the exam the last suggestion for from my side to counter the anxiety during the exam is uh, you know to avoid watching the clock all the time the clock or the timer is always in front of you on the exam screen and if you keep watching on this very very often it can increase your anxiety so don't do that uh, make make sure like you can decide after every 30 seconds i am going to see the time so you have to plan it before you actually sit for the exam okay first 30 minutes i am going to complete these many questions and and if there is little up and down that's okay but if you are debating too much you should be worried about it so here are my five tips and uh, i hope this video has helped you let me know in the comments how much you agree with me and do like this video comment on it and share with your friends if uh, they are preparing for ci and i am going to see you in the next week thank you